All right, here we are at <laughs> always with the Rosa hey. Mexicana. Here, we are. all right. So, uh, anyway, no. let's try again. All right, here we are, Rosa Mexicano, at the Dolphin. Uh, checking in, getting checked in. Going to learn a lot about the restaurant today. Try some great Mexican food. Yeah. Coming in, we did have to figure out the parking a little bit. The first one you obviously turn into is only valet. So you want to go to the next one over, self-parking. And yeah. apparently you can get your ticket validated. So Which will save that's you. what we'll do. 32 bucks. Yeah, $32. So For the reservation, this is a new restaurant. And so I kept looking for it on the regular app because most of the re restaurants that are here at the Swan and Dolphin, you can reserve on my Disney Experience app. However, this one was not showing up. So as of right now, which this is going to be in the first few weeks of it being open, I do believe, I was able to do it on open tables. So that is a way to do it. It's supposed to be a nice, I believe, semi-upscale Mexican food. I'm really excited about that because we certainly love our Mexican food. We're actually here a little early. The kids went to see a movie over in Disney Springs. So we needed to get them there in time. So now we're a little bit early. So we're going to come over here, have a seat at the bar, try to check out the menu so we can kind of peruse and feel less pressure about what to order as soon as we sit down at the restaurant. This is called Fins here. They do make some really fun creative cocktails over here. Anyway, today we did the Paloma and we did it, we actually had them chew it as a Mezcal Paloma, which if you like a smokier flavor, it's really, really nice. Very refreshing still though. They have draft beers, they have a full bar, they can make anything. So here we go. start off by saying that it is loud in here so this is going to be a very vibrant high energy dynamic wonderful place but I love that because it's nice that it's like a little bit of a freer environment you really get um, I mean you have to be in the mood for it but you get that high energy dynamic happening in a restaurant that has a higher level of noise yeah and I always love fuzzy water we call it fuzzy water <laughs> I love fuzzy water too <laughs> They call me bougie, but I was like, no, something about like, oh, no, it's better. I don't drink soda, but this is just yeah. Way. It's it's like instead of it still satisfies that like and bubble. You, sometimes you can just a little bit of orange juice, fresh orange. Yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Vodka. No. Oh for sure. That's my favorite. Like, Tito's. <laughs> yeah, you add a little Tito's. It's it's perfect. <laughs> So you have a wine by the bottle, you have tequila by the bottle? No, of course not. if you want to. So they do a nice table side walk here. Oh, look at these avocados. We got our spicy. First off, we're going to grind this all down into a nice little paste. You can already see it happening right there. Yeah. So it's going to bring out the heat. All those brush flavors. I can smell it. Oh yeah. It smells incredible. It comes very aromatic. Love it. Do your arms hurt at the end of the night? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to it. And I also make a lot of guacamole at home too, so it kind of helps. Yeah, very good, very good. Now we mix all the jalapeno, the cilantro, the red onion that we mashed up together. It's going to create that nice flavor. Nice. Move it in there, mix it up. Some good. We're going to add a little bit more pink cilantro. Yeah. Lots of pepper, onion, tomato. And we're going to add the tomato afterwards. Since it is a little bit more juicy, you want to add that after, not at the beginning. Okay. Since we did kind of grind it up already, we're going to just fold this in nicely. Beautiful. So a little bit more gentle this time. It's gorgeous. And you don't do lime. No lime. You want to know why? Because we're eating this fresh. Yeah. The only reason you use lime and guacamole is Keep because it you want brownie. to preserve it. Right. I love the little... You like the little face in there? Yay, so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
Or actually there are more. It's gonna turn up the heat a little bit. Yeah. Alright, you guys so there. So you get this lovely book menu has all of the so they have this wonderful extensive 111 tequilas I believe he said so many mezcal but then even in the menu you also still have the wines the beers the margaritas some craft cocktails you get into the guacamole which so we got the classic in a single a single was plenty for the two of us otherwise we would be so full from that but it was really really good we got the spicy I will say it was not spicy if you are anyone who normally likes to enjoy Mexican food even I'm, I mean you know I don't know Diablo sauce from Taco Bell is hotter okay so I don't know even hot sauce I think from Taco Bell might be hotter but the flavor was so good so fresh there's no salt added no lime added so it has just this beautiful fresh flavor to it which I really enjoy but get the chili Diablo or excuse me, <laughs> the chili diablo, which is gonna be this really nice little added spicy chili. It really adds a lot. Really spice, really good. Yeah, adds a lot of nice spice to it, but not, um, it's a full flavored spice, kind of like a chili Colorado. I mean, it doesn't taste like that, but I'm saying like how it's like a full flavor. It's not just heat. So we're thinking of doing a um, tasting of ceviches. Um, and then we had our eyes on, all right, I, I have to say, I'm interrupting my own self here. The amount of things on this menu that are gluten-free, if you are a gluten-free person, you are gonna be in happy, happy, happy zone eating food here. Cause almost all, it seems like almost all of them have the little gluten-free um, symbol next to them that allows you to enjoy it right I mean and that's so exciting especially when you don't have to change anything about the recipe so then you know you're getting like the same deliciousness that everybody else is getting it hasn't been dumbed down to be gluten-free and you get to enjoy it straight off the menu that's what we always look for is we want it to be really great straight off the menu we want a chef's choice without gluten right so really excited to see how many of those there are I don't know what else Manny has. Manny has something else in mind, I think, for a starter. On the mains, the enchiladas sound incredible, especially because you can do an enchilada tasting. The parilladas, I don't even know. There's so much, but I mean, this is like a, you're going in as a team, right? I'm really excited to see the amount of seafood, which again would be a nice nod to something straight out of Mexico City style cooking. Salmon, oh, so amazing. Then you still have tacos. You can go crazy on tacos. Oh, they have the birria tacos and then your sides. And I would imagine they also have a kid's menu. We had to laugh at the mac and queso. That's hilarious, so cute. But it's a really great menu. So much to explore and enjoy. Um, so far, the quality and the service have been top-notch. Really, I have to say, very impressed thus far with the service. It is team service, so you get two servers for your table. I love team service. I was saying it's nice because it's team service, so you really feel like yeah. you're getting really great service. Yeah. I mean, all the way around. Yeah. Really nice. Like little light touches of service. Like, oh, some water. Yeah. Really Low pressure, high quality. Yes, sir. And then some more water for the bottom as well. Love this glass. And a half rim. Love a half rim. Did you stir it a little? Yeah. Oh wow. This hasafina, this is good. I like the hasafina. What? It's better stirred. Oh yeah. All right. So one thing interesting that I didn't understand is he was talking. I was asking him about mezcal drinks, and he said, "Oh yeah, you can have a mezcal old fashioned, which I've never heard of, but that's what they have. They have an old fashioned." You oh, pick you your you pick that. your spirit, and one of them is a mezcal. Well, you have to try that. I have to try that. I have the 
Josefina Margarita, which is going to be named after the original chef and the original owner who wanted to spread her love of true Mexico City cooking or Mexican cooking in the traditional fashion. It's really, really good. It's not too sweet, but it has a nice full body to it. It's not tequila forward. I mean, I would love a little bit more of that tequila forward, but I, that being said, it's not, um, you know, like if you were going somewhere and you're like, yeah, that was all mixed. There's no mix in here. You can taste that it's fresh squeezed lime juice. It's really, really nice, and I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so we went with the, look at this, ceviche tasting. When have you had a ceviche tasting, a flight of ceviches? All right, so Mandy, you got to remind me. I thought this one is obviously the shrimp. Shrimp, there's tuna. I think this is the tuna, and this would be the salmon. Yeah. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. In addition, we went ahead and got the camarones of Diablo. So this is going to have this wonderful chili de arbol sauce that we, chili that we've just been enjoying very, very much. It has a nice cool down with a, what was that, like a cilantro cream sauce or what was that? I can't quite remember. I will put it up. This is beautiful on this beautiful bed of fresh cut slaw or, you know, cabbage, some fresh lime and some tortilla chips. Just beautiful. Manny's going in on, the, on this Diablo. He's super excited about it. Give it a try, see what you think. Yeah. So let's see if we can get a little bit of everything in here. What I like to do is get a little bit of everything on the bite. Yeah. It's very good. It's got that chili de arbol sauce on it. So it's got that like spicy kick at the end. Spicy kick at the end, which is really really good so i just had the ahi tuna ceviche it's very very good it is not as so what i'm what i'm used to in a ceviche is a very high citrus flavor because that's kind of like what would cook it but with tuna you don't want it to be cooked so in this case what you're getting is a very delicate light flavor really really fresh and i mean you can tell this was made moments ago right you've got some fresh sliced jalapeno in there that gives that really nice nice flavor not too hot but you never know what that jalapeno can be different every single bite right really really like that one as a start i really like that this is like a a, a selection that we get to move through because while that is really really good now i'm excited to try the other two as well so it's kind of makes it fun i would highly recommend doing like the tastings because you get to like have a really good time with it and explore some things and, and who knows which one you're going to like the most, right? I would say that normally I would have been 100% the tuna would be my favorite. But now I want to try the salmon and the shrimp see what I think. This is the salmon and it's really interesting because it has like a crema cream sauce type situation happening. This is not a ceviche I've ever seen before. So I'm really excited to taste it. Good. I wouldn't say it's like whatever the cream sauce is, while it's really good, it overtakes the salmon, which is really delicate. And in ceviches, you really want that seafood. But the cream sauce is very good. But you're definitely getting that. Now I'm going to try the shrimp. It's good. It has almost a sweet relish type flavor. I'd be curious to see what Manny thinks of this one. If he would describe it the same way that I do. Really, really tasty. But I'm gonna say the three, my favorite is the ahi tuna. It's very delicate. And you really get to taste and enjoy that tuna. Which I love when you, you know, with, if, look, if a fish had to die for me to eat it, I want it to be the star of the show. Right? So Manny's trying the salmon ceviche. Yeah. <laughs> that is different. Totally it different. Is, it's interesting because 
You don't think of it as ceviche? But you can see how it it's is. It's very good. It's what it is, but like it's like a salmon poke salad. It, it's like to me, and it's it's just part part of the way I am. Ceviche conjures certain thoughts and flavors. This doesn't fit that profile. Yeah. But it's a very good flavor profile. It's like a very good salmon salad. Like, yeah. It's got a lot of different flavors in it. A little bit of spice. It's got the cool sushi type salmon flavor in it. Um, but it's it's really good. But it doesn't taste like it doesn't taste like the ceviche I'm used to. But it's always good to learn new things. And uh, it's that it, this is a different type of ceviche, and now we're getting to try something that's totally different than what we're used to. So I really and 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 it is absolutely delicious, right? It's very good. It's just your brain has to twist away from what you think it is, right? Wow. Oh, got the okay hand. Wow, that's great. It's perfect. It's really good. I like the red, the, the sauce with it. It's a very thick tomato sauce. It almost tastes like a tomato paste. Like, like not marinara, but like a no. very sweet no garlic. tomato paste. Like, yeah. Yeah, like no garlic. It's tomato sweet. Very sweet. Very rich. I thought it tasted almost like a and relish. it goes really well. Yeah. It goes really well with that shrimp. It does taste like you're out on the beach. Like you're, like you're yeah, for just sure. having something fresh and clean and nice. It's really good. Very mild compared to the other two. Yeah. But also very good. I got the trio of enchiladas. So what we have here, amazing. I have a chicken with verde. I have a beef with like, I'm gonna call it a Colorado, I don't know, the red sauce. Yep. But then I have a mushroom with their mole. He said they do the full 26 ingredients, the eight hours cooking, super authentic. In Florida, I got, I'm excited to give this one a whirl. And then over here, we got the Mexican fried rice with a fresh egg, which that was, as soon as that came out, basically this became Manny's favorite restaurant. And enough said, he's done, it's over. And then what do you have over here? Camarones al mojo, shrimp and fideo. So it's a pasta dish. Um, the shrimp, avocado, cilantro uh, with a mojo sauce. Really good. Mojo de ajo. And then, and then we the have a chorizo. We got beautiful. Yeah, I did not expect it to be this. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be like this, but we have chorizo with a fresh made jalapeno popper, which is hilarious. Gluten free. And look at that onion, fresh lime. Um, I think we're going to have some to go boxes. Yeah. Unbelievable. So. Everything. So good. Okay, the chicken with the green chili is like, I could eat that all the time. It's so good. It's very fresh. The chili is very bright. It's not at all spicy, but the chicken is good. That You get that great corn sweetness from the tortilla, the fresh chopped onion. It is absolutely a delight to eat. Then my second one here is the beef with what I'm gonna call a, I'll look it up and I'll put it on here, but to me it's like a chili Colorado. It's just a red chili. It's also really good. It has a nice full body flavor, no spice. Okay, but really great flavor. Now I'm gonna try the last one, which is the mushroom 
with the mole with the mole. And I'm super excited about the mole. Oh, we have a dance. We have a dance. Mike. Here's the thing. If you don't know what mole is, don't worry. It's just a lot of spices, a lot of vegetables, usually a little chocolate. It's really, really good. But I think a lot of people are like, I don't know what it is, so I'm not going to have it. I think there's no one who, like if you're someone who likes chocolate, who likes good flavor, who likes good sauces, you're going to love this mole. That is very good. You know what? The appetizers were really good. The service has been very, very nice. I, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but we've had two really fantastic servers taking care of us tonight. But these entrees, I feel like I now understand a little bit more about the chef and what they're trying to say and what they're trying to bring. I feel like this is like the perfect introduction to true Mexican food that um, has that all the flavors that you want of the, the tradition, but not where it's intimidating. So that nothing is so strong that it's gonna to be too much for say a, a palate of someone who's not accustomed to eating, you know, these types of flavors or spices. So you can come here even if you're not someone who's interested in spicy food or whatever the stereotypes are. Nothing on my plate right now is spicy. Everything on my plate right now is authentic. Everything on my plate right now is absolutely delicious. I highly recommend getting the enchilada tasting. In fact, I tasted Manny's and it's very good, but I'm gonna argue that mine is better. That Mexican fried rice, very good. Okay, so he says they do, they do the 26 ingredients, they use abuelita chocolate. I tell you what, what's great about this mole is it, you can taste all of the 26 spices and season in like the way that the time and everything that's been put into it because it's, it unfolds as you're chewing. It really does. It's like going on a journey. It does. It has a depth of flavor that tells a story. Yeah. With like each ingredient. You get a first taste and then you get more taste and more taste and it just builds and it's not in a spicy way at all whatsoever. No, no. But you just have that rich flavor throughout. We are gonna eat like kings tomorrow. <laughs> so many leftovers. But it's so good. I don't we think are. you're gonna have any. You're like having it. I mean, I tell you. I mean, I'm, we're over here. I'm trying to film all this and like talk about. It. Manny's over there, like, excuse me. I'm trying to enjoy this. Like, that's how much you're enjoying this dish. It really is. I really love this dish. I can tell. I like it more than your. What? Okay. Well, there you go. We yeah. each ordered what we what we should have, right? We got to get into this chorizo, though. I got to try out that popper. Woo. We got new drinks. So Manny got the mezcal, old fashioned. It was a smoky mezcal, old fashioned. You're gonna have to let me know what you think about that. I had to stay with my girl, Josefina. I love a woman starting something in 1984 in New York City on First Avenue or First Street. I'll have to look it up. Starting this restaurant, bringing these flavors, her native flavors. Cheers to you, Josefina. All right, let's talk about this chorizo. So Manny had some chorizo in his dish. It was very delicate. I will tell you, one of the best things we received as a wedding gift when we got married was a beautiful recipe for homemade chorizo. And it's just something that we love to this day. Okay, wow. Definitely squirt a little bit of the lime on your chorizo when you get it. This has a delicate flavor, but it's super full of flavor. I know that doesn't make sense, but trust me, when you try it, you'll know. So what I'm saying is, is that even though the flavors are delicate, they're long lasting. At no point does it start to glide off and be sort of like monotonous oh, yeah. in the chew. Like the tooth is really good. The flavor is really good. As you eat it, it keeps unfolding. However, all of that is delicate and it's not spicy. 
I'm used to a very spicy chorizo. This is not. It has wonderful, wonderful full-bodied flavor to it. Really, and boy, tender as no get out. So tender. So this is the mezcal. They have a menu, a cocktail item here that's an old-fashioned. You pick your spirit. So they do have a mezcal on the menu, a mezcal old fashioned. I've never had one, it looks amazing. It came in a little smoke dish brought to the table. So I'm excited. Ooh, a little smoky flavor. Yeah, I mean, it was a give beautiful a release there, yeah. I'm gonna give it a little stir as you always should. It has a pinker look to it than I'm used to seeing in an old fashioned. In old fashioned, yeah. Ooh. Really? Yeah, pretty good. Uh oh. You should try it. Oh, uh, I will because you know what? Yeah, I think I would whiskey. like. It's not whiskey, and I like mezcal. I've this could never be a problem. Had a non -whiskey old fashioned. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. There you go. I thought they were all whiskey. Well, okay. We have to say, and we've said it in our other videos, Manny is not easy to please when it comes to cocktails no. out and about. He's like, no, no, I'm not. He 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 really. And I, I'm with you on the need for it to not be sweet, to yeah. not be overdone, to not be over, like, just you just want it to be good, strong, well-blended cocktail. quality cocktail. A lot of times I find there's some people who, and that's perfectly fine, they like the sweet ones, they like the blue ones, they like the colorful ones. Um, I don't like it. I don't like the sweet ones. I like the nice, quality cocktail. Mandy's roll. If it's blue, I don't do. <laughs> so we can I can have old fashioned. I have to research mezcal old fashioned now. I've always wanted to be an old fashioned gal, but I can't get past. I know. I wish I could. I well, want to be just, that cool. I just, my mouth is like, no, no. We don't like whiskey. I want to like whiskey, but alas, it's not happening. This I like. This I like. Let's go. One of the things I like about this so much is I get dark chocolate notes, which like black cherry, a lot of times black cherry yeah. gets into that note. Yeah, um, what, like that little bit of bitterness that you get with dark chocolate. Yeah, but sweet, like a bittersweet. Okay, so we just wrapped up dinner at Rosa oh. Mexicano, and what an evening it was. It was amazing. It really was it very really was good. I was so not enjoyable. expecting it to be that good. I was not, and I'm, I went in there a little biased. I totally we're went like in biased. from New Mexico. We a thousand love percent. Mexican food where there's yeah. a thousand Mexican restaurants that are really good. Super authentic. The hole in the wall places that aren't fancy, but super good high quality mexican food yeah so i was a little skeptical going in i was not just i was blown away i was blown away you hear the stories about all the recipes all the thought and devotion that went into it like the dish i got he said yes the chef took 10 years to figure out that dish to make that dish to create that dish mm -hmm. and that's what i had and it was delicious it was amazing and there's a whole menu of items just like that. Oh, for sure. Um, I really thought that where the dishes shined was in the main dishes. The appetizers were incredible, okay? Yeah, well, so table good. Tableside guacamole. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. But where I felt like, okay, now I understand, like I actually, there's not a lot of places you go where you feel like, oh, I see that there is a chef in the kitchen who's trying to tell me a story. Yeah. Who has a point of view in their food. This chef, I believe his name was Manuel, had a it point was. of view in his food. And with the entrees is where I felt like I was like, I got you. It told a story. It, told it a totally story. told a story. And not only of the chef, but of the history of the yeah. restaurant. Yeah. I know it was good because- It was because tough to make a video because it was so good. <laughs> I was just going to say, I know it was really good because I couldn't get Manny to focus on 
Okay, well, like, oh stop eating that so we can like also get this while it's still hot and taste it with you. Um, um, um. He was in heaven. You were truly really enjoying it. And that's amazing. Service was top. Yeah, they had team service. We top had a couple notch. servers. And one thing notable about the service is I think it, they cater well to whatever you want. Like if you're yeah. rushing in and out of the parks, Which a lot you want to get are. and go mm -hmm. and you want a nice meal, but you kind of in a hurry, they can help with that. They sensed we were there to dine and really enjoy mm -hmm. every course and kind of take our time. So they catered to that as well and did a great job. They did a fantastic job. Yeah, for real. So. I, I just want to throw out there, look at this to-go box. <laughs> oh, we will eat well tomorrow. Than my head. And that's saying something. Great night.